In this video, we'll cover saving and exporting files in Illustrator. This is a fundamental skill, and you'll use it every single time you work in the program. On the right, I've opened up a Finder window to view my files. This is the equivalent of the Explorer in Windows. On the left, I've got Illustrator open with a new blank file that I just created but haven't saved yet. There are several commands in Illustrator we can use for saving or exporting files. These are all located under the File menu. We'll look specifically at Save As, Save, and Export As. You'll use the Save As option anytime you want to set or change the name, the location, or the vector format of the current file. That's what I want here since my newly created file has no location or format set. Let's go ahead and click File, Save As from the menu bar. We could also do this with a keyboard shortcut of Control Shift S in Windows or Command Shift S in Mac. The file name will autofill with the name that I used when I made the document. I could edit it here if I wanted to. The file extension will be set automatically based on the format that I choose to save the file in. I'll need to choose where to save this file. Right now, this is going into the folder that's showing in my Finder window. Let's set the format, and here we get a list of vector file types, and I want this to be an illustrator.ai file. Notice that I could also save out a PDF file by selecting Adobe PDF. If we wanted to convert to a pixel-based image such as a JPEG, we'd have to export it using a different command. Let's go ahead and click Save, then click OK to accept the default Illustrator options. And I can see that my AI file has shown up in that folder. And I can see in Illustrator, on my File tab, there's now a .ai extension after the file name. Let's pretend that I'm going to do some editing work in this file. For the sake of time, I'll just paste in some vector shapes. Now I notice that I get this asterisk next to the file name in its tab. That's telling me that I've got unsaved changes in this file. I can save just by clicking File Save in the menu bar, or hitting Control S on the keyboard in Windows, or Command S in Mac. And that'll simply save the changes to the current file. Now, if I make some additional changes without saving, I can jump back to the last saved version by clicking File Revert in the menu bar, and just clicking Revert again to confirm. You'll want to make sure that you're saving as often as possible when you work, since Illustrator doesn't have an autosave feature, and you don't want to lose progress if your program or your computer crashes. In addition to saving files in vector formats, we can also convert to pixel-based images using export commands. When we export, our vector shapes will be converted to a duplicate image in a pixel-based format. We could export this image by clicking File, Export, Export As in the menu bar. The two other export commands will work here too. They just give us more sophisticated export options. Export As will work just fine for us here. Notice how the export dialog looks pretty similar to the Save As settings. So the file name will autofill with my document name, and I could change it here if I wanted to. The file extension will be set automatically based on the format that I choose to export. I'll also need to choose where to save this file. Right now it's going into the same folder that I saved my AI file into. So let's go ahead and set the format. And here we get a list of pixel image file types. I'll choose a JPEG. Below the format dropdown, I have a checkbox for artboards. If I leave this unchecked, I'll export an image that's cropped to the boundaries of the artwork in the current artboard. If I check Use Artboards, I'll export separate image files cropped to the bounds of each artboard, or I could specify a subset of the artboards to export. I'll leave this checked since I'd like to keep all the negative space in this image, and we won't have options for range since we just have one artboard. Okay, I'll go ahead and click Export. And after we click Export, we'll usually get another dialog for settings that are specific to the pixel format you're exporting to. So these might look different if we were saving a GIF, for example. 
Here we can set the color model. RGB is just fine for this image. And the quality, which I'll set towards the higher end of the slider. Then we have options for compression and resolution. I'll make this a high resolution image at 300 PPI and leave the other compression settings on defaults. Finally, I'll leave the embed color profile checkbox checked. That will make sure that the sRGB profile can help us to display the colors consistently on different screens. Now I can hit OK, and my JPEG file should show up in the location that I set. And I can see there it is. Okay, so that's an overview of saving and exporting files in Illustrator.